hi virgo welcome back to the channel hello if you're new to the channel welcome to virgo speaks tarot i'm shawnee welcome welcome hi you guys so virgo i am back with your bonus daily read um this is a general reading i want to get some angel um messages angel numbers here for you a lot of you've been seeing these angel numbers so i want to get you some messages and um, hopefully this quick reading can bring you some guidance, clarity, confirmations, blessings upon your life. Okay, Virgo? Um, so I just want to first start out by saying thank you guys for all of your love, your likes, your comments, your shares, subscribes. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, for all of you who have donated to the channel um, thank you so much for helping me. Um, I greatly appreciate it. All right, Virgo. So let's get into your bonus read. We're going to get some angel messages for Virgo, please. Angel number message for Virgo. Wow. We have multiple messages very interesting number one i'm innovative you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success beautiful we have disciplined energy number 31 you may be seeing this number or these numbers here or, um, you know, different variations of these numbers. Take it as it resonates. We have here number four, I am stable. So you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend partner and colleague very stable in all aspects of your life that's that balanced energy that strong king of cups energy virgo um just someone very honest um very deserving uh very trustworthy um energy i love it we have 111 wow one of my favorite angel numbers okay if you're seeing any of these numbers, this message reson will, you know, most likely resonate stronger with you. We have angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life that you love. I am creative. So Virgo, your angels are letting you know if you see this number, I'm definitely hearing... Um, creating opportunity i'm seeing number one and number one on this dollar bill um very creative self-starter i'm picking up that innovative energy creating opportunity strong endurance strong will i'm getting very ambitious very determined energy fire and your earth energy earth element um this is beautiful virgo Co-creating with the universe. This is heavy. This is what I've been picking up in your energy very heavy. Okay, guys? So just know that your angels are here to fully support you with this endeavor. Okay? So that you can co-create. I'm definitely hearing rapidly. This is beautiful. We have 888, another one of my favorite angel numbers. I am really shocked here. That they both came out in this same reading. We have you are abundant, Virgo. You are abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy. Focusing on the beauty, what you love about your home, what you love about your car, what you love about the things that you have, the family, the friends, the food, the, you know, able to you know, care for your children, buying them toys, you know, um, you know, just, you know, everything that you have around you, um, you're just so grateful for and you see it in such 
you know, beauty and you're just so grateful for it. This is the energy that's going to make you so abundant and radiate abundance. And the universe reads that reads that energy as Virgo's ready for more. Yeah, so you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So this is what creates room for more to come in. All right. And for a lot of you, I feel like you've been doing all of this. Yeah. Manifesting your creative ideas. Yeah. It says here for number 31 angel number. I I'm I excuse me. I am disciplined. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to life due to your discipline this is beautiful i'm loving the energy i definitely felt like your angels had a strong message for you virgo so guys this is beautiful i want to go ahead and get a little bit of energy here for Virgo, please. We have miracles here at the bottom of the deck, Virgo. Very interesting. Um, I've been picking this energy up a lot for you, Virgo, just when you thought it was going to be challenging, just when you thought it was this obstacle or this path, your journey is becoming too much and overwhelming or whatever it is. There's a there's this is when you're gonna see changes in your life, blessings appear. Okay, there's miracles all around you. Okay, oh, we have some cards from another deck. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. Okay. So yeah, we have we have miracles here. Wow. Let's see what's going on. There is just so much beauty and joy all around you, Virgo. Miracles happening. A lot of strong, stable, abundant energy around is around you. This is what you're creating. So, good job, guys. For Virgo, thank you. We have love, absolutely. This is so beautiful. Virgo, this is the most love you've ever felt. Your life is changing in a major way. I feel like your heart is filled with a lot of love at this time. Wow. I feel like this is, for some of you, this is what's coming in. A lot of you, you're already experiencing this abundance all of this love that's flowing into your life, Virgo, right now. For some of you, there may be potential or an, like an opportunity for love that may be opening up here, like a, a developing, a growing relationship, okay? That may be, you know, growing very slowly. Yeah. I'm getting like a stable connection or friendship is growing, is blossoming, is blooming, okay? I feel like you are growing feelings or someone is growing feelings for you. Yeah. This is beautiful. There's a lot of love here. I want to get a little bit more for Virgo, please. Yeah, we have stability here. As I open up the deck, we have stability and relationships. Absolutely, Virgo. Tying the knot. For some of you, um, I've been picking up energy of... Walking away from relationships that are bringing you down and stressing you out. And bringing the worst side of you out. 
But a lot of you, I'm picking up new love or your current relationship or connection is growing into a, de a deeper, like a deeper bond here. Okay, so for some of you, I'm seeing a very stable relationship. Okay, there's stability in all areas of your life, your friends, your partner, your colleagues when it comes to work, you know. They're going to be like, what's going on with Virgo? She's just in a totally great, you know, mood. Like, I've noticed Virgo's just been smiling. Okay, people are going to notice, Virgo, <laughs> that you are, you know, you're just in a really good place right now. And I love this energy. When it comes to Virgo, what else? So we have stability confirmed. What is this? Yeah. So we have this beautiful recycle. I've been picking up this heavy green energy. I don't know. For some of you, you may um, really love like a lot of plants. You may have like a lot of plants or you may be like the type that loves to recycle. Okay. I've been picking that energy up. I'm not sure whose energy that is. Um, like, you know, you're definitely for the planet. I love it. I'm really loving this energy. We have your focus here. And we have an ancestor showing up here. Okay, so someone in your family, or this could be an ancestor, I feel like they want you to focus on something. They want you to recover something. Okay, okay. So let's see what this is all about. Yeah, let's see what this is all about, Virgo. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I had to get some water. All right, Virgo. So we have tree. We have family. For some of you, you may be feeling a lot of love. You know, you may be um, connecting or reconnecting with family members that you haven't seen in a while. Okay, this is going to bring a lot of happiness, peace, joy into your life as well. Reconnecting with family. But there is something that you are bullseye focused on, Virgo. Look at this. Hmm, I wonder what this is. This could be someone focused on you, okay? Especially when it comes to love. You may have someone's complete attention. Okay, I'm definitely getting like this focus, this driven, this disciplined energy, this creative energy, this is what's bringing in this abundance in your life, okay? But let me, let me, let's just tap in really quick. Um, I want to see what needs to be recovered. Um, I feel like there's something here that was lost that is coming back to you. Let's see what's going on here. For Virgo. Yeah, for Virgo, please. For Virgo. So, we're going to pull out the tarot here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands. This is that determined energy. All right, Virgo. So we have very, starting out very fiery, very determined. For some of you, you may have Aries in your chart. But you're coming out very confident, very determined, strong-willed. I love this energy. We have the Queen of Swords here. I feel like you're going to make a very fair, righteous decision. Okay, wow. There's some sort of... Look at this. This is so beautiful. I'm getting an energy of very calm. Um, this is Libra energy. For some of you, you may be dealing with a Libra. Okay, I'm picking up Aries, Libra. 
okay it doesn't have to be those signs but this is fire and um air energy here so there's someone here who's determined and there's someone here who has to make some sort of righteous decision and they want to be fair about it we have patience here i feel like someone is not really happy with having to wait for for you to make this decision so you may be invited to like a family reunion and you might go oh you know what i have to think about it you know i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to make it and this person may want you to answer right away give them an answer is what i'm picking up yeah we have empress i feel like this could be your mother Okay, I'm not sure if you're in contact with your mother, but we have um, Empress energy here. This could be someone's mother or an, a person older than you. Okay, I'm definitely getting feminine energy. So yeah, there's somebody here who you may have had some sort of disconnect with. So what is the energy when it comes to this empress and this determined queen of wands empress also represents the zodiac Tor um libra and taurus so when it comes to this empress this mother energy and this determined queen of wands we have the king of swords this is all about using your wisdom be logical when it comes to whoever these people are i feel like their family who may be trying to reconnect with you it's like you're gonna have to be really smart use your discernment use your good judgment when it comes to these people but yeah you're gonna have to be fair because I feel like when it comes to like family reunion, this is about reconnecting with people, family that you haven't seen in a while, you know, um, in some cases. So you might find that you become very abundant and fulfilled with a lot of love. We have love here. What is Virgo's focus? Because we have, I feel like, I don't know why I'm hearing you're the target. Oh, I just heard that. You're the target. Um, what is this bullseye focus? What is this energy? What's connected to this energy when it comes to Virgo? Inner wisdom. So we, I mean, so we're, we're getting cards when it comes to being logical, thinking clearly, using your discernment, good judgment. Now we have the high priestess. It's like, this is all about using your intuition, trusting your gut, inner wisdom. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting, I don't know why I'm, yeah, I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting like, like some weird, like energy attached to this invitation or this energy of wanting to invite you around. Let me see. I just want to know if it's all love. Okay. So. Show me a little bit more clear, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this Empress, this Queen of Wands that's very determined. When it comes to what they're focusing on, I feel like it's Virgo. What is the energy surrounding Virgo when it comes to these people? What is the energy? 
when it comes to this bullseye. Okay. So we have empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. There it is. There's major boundaries that need to be placed, which I'm sure probably already happened. That's why we have the very determined energy here to reconnect with you. And I feel like their bait is going to be, it's all love. I, I cannot make this up. Whoever this mother-like figure and this, this could be a sister, this queen of wands. We have Aries energy. It also could be a Sagittarius or Leo or they could have it in their chart. I'm also picking up heavy Libra and not too heavy energy for Taurus, but I'm picking up heavy Libra and heavy Aries. And also with this air energy, I'm picking up Aquarius. Okay. But we have what they're going to use as bait is just all this love here that's on the table. We have love here and love here. And I feel like because they know that you're such a loving person that they're going to use that to bait you in. Okay. It's like this is a narcissist thirsty for their supply. And they're going to use their flunkies to try to bait you in. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. All right, guys. So be mindful of this energy. We have camera that fell out. This person is reminiscing on all that supply that you gave them from the past. Yeah, this is somebody from your past that is trying to resurface back into your life. So that's why spirit is saying, trust your gut. Use your discernment. Be, you know, think logically here, not with your heart or your emotions. Look, we have mask. So all of this love here is nothing but, you know, a performance. It's not authentic. All right. They're not showing you their true intentions or their true feelings. Lots of pretending gaslighting hiding so that's what this is all about guys so there's a narcissist that's trying to return for some of you i feel like it's female energy but take it as it resonates it doesn't always have to be a female but that's what i was picking up it can be a male for sure okay virgo wow i am just like really like turned off from this energy but they're trying to reconnect with you and spirit wanted you to know this so that you don't fall for this trap it's like you are the target this is crazy how it came out when it comes to virgo yeah, yeah, when it comes to you, Virgo, and this energy on the table, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords, which I am very proud of this energy, Virgo, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. Yes, you do have love, feelings, emotions, but you're not going to reveal it or show it to these people. When it comes to making decisions, taking action, you're going to use your discernment. You're going to use your intellectual maturity and you're going to make the right choice. And you're going to stand on it. And they're going to have to respect that you are no longer that person where all they have to do is put on a performance and you're sold. Okay, so just know that right now they are dead focused on trying to come up with some kind of act to lure you in. And it's going to have something to do with 
a family reunion, okay? But yeah, you there's a new cycle here. I feel like you've moved on with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there's a new chapter in your life that you are entering, Virgo. And I feel like it doesn't include these people from the past. I feel like this is going to be an eye-opening moment for these people when they realize the truth that you're not the same person. They're going to go through a breakthrough moment where they go through a realization that these old tricks don't work. And that's going to be the realization that happens. This could be through a conversation, okay? This is this could be clarity based off your actions. This could be just clarity that comes to them that Virgo's not the same. Girl dealing or empath dealing with a narcissist that's able to be charmed. Yeah, like the fool card here. Chasing the rabbit down the hole, being lured in. It's like... This is not your life anymore. Yeah, five of cups. Look at this. Five of pentacles. This is not your life anymore. I feel like this is the life you had when you were dealing with these people. Always feeling like you were in lack. Or even though you had all of them around, you still felt alone and isolated. You felt manipulated and tricked a lot in your life. A lot of new beginnings probably came from a lot of hardships and endings in your life. Five of Cups, this is feeling alone. There's something that happened that has something to do with these people that caused you a great deal of pain, sadness, grieving, something you lost. And it has something to do with these family members or whoever these people are that's showing up that's trying to return back in your life so strongly. But now you're showing up as a queen of pentacles. Someone who has it together mentally, physically, spiritually. This is someone who is very calm. Makes the right decisions. Very ambitious and successful. So... With the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, very trustworthy, very honest, emotionally secure, emotional intelligence, very balanced in spirit. Yeah, temperance card. This is showing me your energy, Virgo. You've outgrown these people. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like... This person is no longer... These people are no longer on your level. It's like you're on their radar, but these people are not even on your level for you to even be too much of a concern about. What was in the past is in the past, and you are completely moving on in your life, Virgo, to better, more stable financial days. There's a lot of great fortune here. Showing up with the Wheel of Fortune and the King and Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, if this was a partnership, I definitely see you moving on. You may be hooking up with an Earth sign um, as a forever partner or a fire sign. We have Temperance here, which represents Sagittarius. And we have King of, Pen King of Cups, excuse me. I don't know why I thought that was the King of Pentacles. The King of Cups, which represents Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so you could be meeting or, you know, this could be a King of Pentacles, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn um, with water in their chart or someone with water and earth or fire in their chart. I'm picking up these elements, Virgo. There's definitely someone new coming in. For some of you, I feel like this is what you've been waiting. A partner that is emotionally secure and can bring, like, some nurturing and maturity to your life.
someone that you can depend on and I've, I, you know, someone that you can trust. And I feel like this King of Cups is the perfect person for that. All right. So not everyone is going to be meeting someone, but I do feel like for some of you, there is someone new um, entering your life. So Virgo, I am so happy that you guys are coming out um, using your discernment, learned a lot from your lessons, and you don't trust these people. So I, I'm, I'm just grateful that you guys, I'm just happy that you guys, um, are protecting yourselves and it's like you're ready and prepared for whatever comes your way. This is very confident and you're ready to have a conversation. And I feel like when you have that conversation, it's really going to shed light that Virgo has, really changed and it's like you can't just say any old thing or do any old thing to Virgo anymore and I love this so guys this is your reading I this was really deep I didn't expect this but I, I feel like spirit wanted you to know this because there is a very hungry determined narcissist that is looking to charm you, use you, cross your boundaries, bring a lot of agony to your life. And it's probably because you are so close to, because you've been co-creating with the universe, you're manifesting your dreams. Okay. These people are planted here on your path to stop you. But I feel like you're very prepared. God has blessed you with the Ace of Swords here. Okay, so you're going to be able to communicate clearly, effectively, efficiently. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to get what it is off your chest when the time comes. All right, so... Don't fear if there's a conversation that happens. You're going to be blessed with the power to say the right things that you want to say, okay? Or that what needs to be said. And it's going to put an end to them trying to connect with you again, okay? Because there's going to be strong boundaries in place. And that's one thing... A narcissist, you know, can't do is get past your boundaries. All right. So this is beautiful, guys. I'm going to end this reading here. I do apologize if you guys heard like laughing in the background. Um, they're um, playing the video game. So I do apologize um, if you guys heard laughing. It's, it kind of like disturbed me a little bit, but I didn't want you guys to think that someone was laughing like at the reading or anything it's the video games that they're playing with the headphones but thank you guys so much for watching until the end virgo if you enjoyed this reading hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already until the next time stay blessed and alert for these narcissists that are lurking <laughs> all right guys bye virgo